There's a scene in the NFL tonight unlike anything that at least in the last 30 to 40 years has been seen in the league. Buffalo Bills safety DeMar Hamlin collapsed following a hard hit to the chest. Collapsed and was on the field for 30 minutes as his teammates wept and prayed, as medical personnel performed CPR. This uh, appeared to be a very significant situation, if not a life-threatening situation. 30 minutes after the hit, you see the ambulance leaving the stadium. It initially appeared as if the game might go on, and then there was a conference of the coaches, a long delay with the teams in the locker room. The NFL came out and said tonight there would be no football game played tonight. Difficult to see how that was even possible. DeMar Hamlin is now in a hospital in Cincinnati in critical condition. And so much unusual about this hit. I feel like we always hear about neck injuries mm -hmm. and head injuries, but to see an uh, injury to the chest to be the cause of this, we want to bring in cardiologist, nine news medical expert, Dr. Pyle Coley. Uh, of course, we're still waiting for more information and updates. We'll be bringing them to you as we get them. But uh, what do we, how important, I guess is the first question, is timing here? It's so critically important. And, and, you know, I just want to say that even though as a cardiologist, I see cardiac arrest on a regular basis, they never cease to horrify me. And my thoughts and prayers are really with Damar's family tonight, hoping for recovery for him. But really the most important factor here is how quickly that CPR was administered. Um, and in fact, the American Heart Association says that getting quick CPR can double or triple your chances of survival. Now we are looking at a very dismal you know, out of hospital cardiac arrest has a 90% fatality. So we're really hoping that DeMar falls here in that 10% and, and that quick CPR, I think really does make a difference between life and death. And, and in my mind, a message to all of us that if we're not CPR trained or certified, we really need to become so because it can save somebody's life. Dr. Coley, one thing that we, we don't know, there's been a presumption that there was a defibrillator used. Um, they would have had one on standby there at, at the stadium. Um, we know just from visual observation that there was CPR given and that it appeared to last at what to us, lay people, I guess a significant amount of time. It was a 10 minutes worth of, of, of CPR. What does that tell you about what was happening there on the field? Uh, you know, I wouldn't want to speculate exactly what happened in this particular situation, but these findings could be very consistent with what's called a cardiac arrhythmia, which is an electrical disturbance with the heart. And there's many things about athletic activity that can really set you up for that. So, you know, in this particular case, it's possible he had a direct trauma to the chest. And that's actually a condition called commotio cordis, where if you get a trauma to your heart in the, in the part of the cardiac cycle where the electricity is sort of resetting for the next heartbeat, that's considered the susceptible period, it can really set off a cardiac arrhythmia. Now, of course, anytime we're playing competitive sports, our, our stress hormones, our catecholamines, our adrenaline is all amped up. We sweat, that can create electrolyte abnormalities. All of those can set somebody up for cardiac arrhythmia as well, particularly if they have underlying structural heart disease. So, you know, the fact that he got resuscitated within about 10 or 15 minutes, it's, it's not an unreasonably long period of time. If they used a defibrillator that does suggest that he had a ventricular arrhythmia because those are the types of, of conditions that we would treat with electricity or a defibrillator to sort of reset the heart back into a normal rhythm. All right, Dr. Coley, thank you for giving us your insight here. Of course, we're going to be talking more and bringing more updates on this situation and the status of Damar Hamlin as we continue the newscast.